Hello, I'm Paddy from creativemedia.org.uk and I thought it would be fun to show you how to draw snowflakes in a program called Inkscape, which is a, a free-to-install graphics creation program, a lot like Adobe Illustrator, but free, which is brilliant. I find this uh, really relaxing. If I'm bored or just stressed, I draw a snowflake and just close the software afterwards and don't even bother saving it because it's just fun to do. So, snowflakes look very complicated, and you'd think they'd require lots of drawing. Well, kind of they are, but they're made out of lots of simple bits. So I'm going to make mine out of squares. You could do circles, or something else, but squares is fun. So, just going to draw, well not squares, rectangles. That'll do as a rectangle. And I'm going to make a few copies of this. And a quick made way to make a copy in Inkscape is to drag it, and just press space whilst you're dragging and it leaves behind a copy. So, I'll delete that one with the delete key. Right, so I've got four rectangles. I'm going to make them different sizes. So I'm going to click on this one once, and change the shape. Click on that once, drag that a bit longer, click on that one. What should I do with this one? Take the corner, make a very thin one, super long and thin. And make it we will make it smaller, and this one can be wide. And snowflakes are made out of lots of kind of like tree shapes almost. So I'm going to have this as my kind of trunk and make it a bit longer. And I'm going to put. In fact, before I start putting it together, I'm going to copy all of these. So I'm going to select all of them. Either drag the mouse around to the wall, or press Control A if you're on a Mac. Press Command A. That selected all of them. I can drag them, press Space, and I've got a copy of them all. And I can resize all of those down a bit. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to slant them. So I'm going to click on them a second time, and that has changed the handles around the edge. And I can make the whole lot slant. And I'm going to make another copy of those. So drag them, press the space bar to leave a copy behind. And this time I'm going to rotate. So you can see if I click once, I get resize handles. If I click a second time, I get rotate and slant handles. So these ones I'm going to turn like that, I think. Move them all out of the way so I can. Got them separate. Okay, so here's my stalk, as it were, of my my snowflake tree. And now I can just start moving some of these things over the top of it. Um, I'll use that one, I'll put that one there. Uh, I can go there. resize a few of these in the process. I seem to have a snap mode on, which I think is somewhere in the view menu. But I know the keyboard shortcut over this, and I know it's a percent sign, so I'm going to press percent. That's turned off the snapping, so things aren't going to snap together now. Don't want too much overlapping, so I'm going to move things around a bit. Uh, that will Go there. Mm, up there. Put that there. I'm putting all my kind of branch things just on one side, and I'll show you why I'm doing that later on. I'll resize this one a bit as well. And make another copy of that, put it down there. Right, well that currently looks a bit of a mess. I want my stalk to be a bit longer, so I'll extend that a bit. Right, firstly I want to join all these into one shape. So, Control A to select all. And here's another keyboard shortcut. Control, Shift and Plus will join all these individual shapes into one mega shape. Control, Shift, Plus. There they are, they're all one shape. 
and I want to make this into a symmetrical shape. So again, I'm going to use my duplicate, drag, press space, and I've got two of them. And this one I want to be the other way around, so not facing to the right, but facing to the left. There's another keyboard shortcut. H does a horizontal mirror, so I'm just going to press H. And put these two together. Let's go like that. And it'd be nice to make sure they're exactly level with each other. So there's yet another keyboard shortcut. Select all, control A for all. And control shift A for align. Now aligning, there's lots of alignment options here. And distribute, which we're not going to use today, but that's a really useful tool too. Align um, this way to make them the same height. The icons kind of explain it. There they are, so they're lined up properly. And once again, we're going to do a control A to select all. Control Shift Plus to join them together. And now we have this crazy complicated shape, which is going to make up our snowflake. If it's too wide, you can narrow it or make it wider. However you fancy. And now we've got this, we can start getting complicated. Um, duplicate it again, space bar. I'm going to do a little version. And... Mm. I could put that somewhere. I could put that up there. Maybe on the top. Um, I'm going to select all, control A. Use my align panel again. Align them on a vertical axis. So they're lined up. Select all. Control plus. I'm sorry, control shift plus to join them together into one shape. And this is getting quite complicated now. And I could even make a copy of this. In fact, make two copies of it. And make these ones a lot smaller. And add them. Do I want to do that? Oh, I just need one actually. Delete that. I can rotate this one. So one click, two clicks. Then I can rotate. I'm going to put this down here. And I want another one on the other side. Um, so how will I do this? I will duplicate it. Drag, drag it. Press space. H for a horizontal mirror. So those look about right, but how am I going to get these exactly in the middle of this main shape? Well, if I select these two, firstly get them aligned to the same height, like that. Join just these two together into one shape, so Control shift plus They're all one shape now. And now I can use a line to align this shape and this shape together on a vertical axis. I think I had that pretty much right anyway. So yeah, that's a good place. And I'm going to move these upwards a bit. And a good way to move things just upwards without moving them sideways is to use the arrow keys. You can go up and down, left and right, but I'm just going up today. So that's that. Select all. Control Shift Plus to make them all one shape. So there we have a pretty complicated shape. I could have added something to the end of these um, things, but I think it's going to look all right. So we're going to make this a bit smaller now. If you want to make sure things resize without getting squeezed or stretched, you can hold down the control key while you drag one of these corners, and that will lock it um, so its dimensions Sorry, it's not dimensions, it's proportions. Stay the same. So, now I've got one branch of my snowflake. I want to make more of these. Well, we already know how to make more. Just drag, press space, leave a copy behind. And instead of H for horizontal mirror, I'm going to do V for vertical mirror. V, there we go. And we can line these up with the vertical axis align. So select all, vertical axis. If this um, um, alignment 
panel ever vanishes, you press Control A to get it back again. Sorry, not Control A, Control Shift A to get it back again. So these are lined up now. I'm going to use my arrow key to move up so they overlap. And now I can do Control A, join those into one shape. Control Shift Plus. So now we've got a super complicated shape. We can start making our actual snowflake shape. So I'm going to do two clicks on this. So I've got the rotation thing here. Undo that. And while I rotate, I'm going to use the... I'm going to use a couple of keys, actually. I'm going to use the space bar to duplicate. But I'm also going to use the control key. If I hold down control whilst I am rotating, you can see it rotates in steps, so I can easily see when I've done my 90 degrees. So I'm going to hold down control, and then I'm going to press space at the beginning to leave behind a copy, and then keep rotating, and stop here. So now I've got, it's not a bad snowflake already, and I can select all, control A, control shift plus again, we do this a lot. That's made that shape. Now I'd like to make another copy of this at 45 degree angle. Could just leave it as it is, but I'm going to do another one. So a second click so I get my rotator handles, hold down control so I'm moving in discrete steps. Then press Space whilst holding all these other keys, leave a copy behind, and that's my 45 degrees, I think. Yep. So now I've got two different shapes. I'm going to do Control A to select all, Control Shift Plus, and there is my, I think, not a bad snowflake. Of course, it's the wrong color. Um, I'm going to make a black square to put my snowflake on and make my snowflake white so that's white it's behind at the moment the quick way to get this to the front is to press page up and it, I think we've currently got an outline on which I don't want here's another keyboard shortcut control shift and S for fill gets me on my fill panel I've got fills, stroke paint, and stroke style. So I've got a stroke line around the outside. I'm just going to put this to zero. Zoom in a bit. Drag myself up. Let's make that a bit smaller. So there's Snowflake. What I could do if I wanted to make this even more complicated is to make a copy of the snowflake with the space bar again, size it down, again holding down control whilst I do the sizing, and then I could make a little one, stick it on the end of each of these. So I'm going to use a line, control shift A, make sure that's in the middle, make a copy, drag it down to the bottom, I'm holding the control key here, so this is meaning it's just going to drag vertically. So there's that one. Join those together with control plus. Do the same rotation thing I did before. And a space to make a copy. And there we've got a slightly more complicated snowflake that we can really zoom in on and see the, that complexity. And then I can select those, Control shift plus, and a, that's a single item. And I can make a few copies of those. A whole bunch of snowflakes. Let's make a nice big background, make it all black. There we are! I hope you enjoyed that.
and I hope that's inspired you to draw some things. Thanks for watching.